Hello students. In this video we will see the next topic from mobile computing. A topic from unit 5. In this video, we will see about what is M-commerce. M-commerce involves carrying out any activity related to buying and selling of commodities, services or information using the mobile handheld devices or commonly our smartphones. The term mobile commerce was originally coined in 1997 by Ken Defee at the launch of the Global Mobile Commerce Forum, to mean, the delivery of electronic commerce capabilities directly into the consumer's hand, anywhere, via wireless technology. Business-to-consumer application involves providing direct service by business owners or company to customers. It includes services like, advertising, comparison shopping, information about a product, mobile ticketing, loyalty and payment service, interactive advertisement, catalog shopping and so on. Biz business application involves a mobile phone-based communication between manufacturers to retailers. This includes services like ordering and delivery confirmation, stock tracking and control, supply chain management, mobile inventory management and so on. Working of M-commerce structure shall be viewed in two dimensions. That is, content provider implements an application by providing two sets of programs. One is, client-side program. Client-side programs run on the browser or through an app exclusively developed and installed in users' mobile. Other is, server-side program. Server-side programs performs database access and computations, resides on the host computers or servers. There are four modules in mobile payment process. First one is mobile devices. They are the handheld devices interface to mobile user. Users specify their requests using interface programs, which are transmitted to mobile commerce application. The result obtained from the mobile commerce application are displayed in suitable formats. Second one is mobile middleware. The purpose of mobile middleware is to seamlessly and transparently map the internet content to mobile phones. It also handle encrypting and decrypting communication for secure transaction. Third component is network. The requests are delivered to the closet wireless access point or base station or wired network such as internet for mobile commerce system. Fourth component is host computers which will process and stores all information needed for mobile commerce. It consists of three parts web servers, database servers and application program and support software. Now we will see the pros and cons of M-commerce. Advantages. From the business organization point of view, customer convenience, cost savings and new business opportunities. From customer point of view, anywhere, anytime shopping using lightweight device. Without physically visiting to store, identifying the right product at the lowest price. Highly personalized thereby providing an additional level of convenience to customer. Though we have many advantages, we have few disadvantages also with M-commerce. Mobile device not offer graphics or processing power of a personal computers. The small screens of mobile devices limits the complexity of application. Network imposes several types of restriction. We have two definitions for mobile payment systems. Mobile payment or M payment defined as any payment instrument where a mobile device is used to initiate, authorize and confirm an exchange of financial value in return for goods and services. Other definition is, mobile payment, also referred to as mobile money, mobile money transfer, and mobile wallet generally refer to payment services operated under financial regulation and performed from or via a mobile device. Three popular types of M payment schemes are currently used are, bank account based, credit card based, micro payment, in each of these approach, a third party service provider like bank, credit card company or telecom company shall make payment on the customer's behalf, the service provider may charge small amount as service charge.
Bank account based M payment works as follows the bank account of the customer is linked to his mobile number when the customer makes an M payment transaction with vendor the bank account of the customer is debited and the value is credited to the vendor's account credit card based M payment works as follows the credit card number is linked to mobile number of customer when the customer makes an M payment transaction with vendor the credit card is charged and the value is credited to the vendor's account what is a micro payment the micro payment is for small purchase such as from vending machines qr codes a customer makes a call to the number of a service provider where the per call charge is equal to the cost of the vending item the micro payment scheme is implemented through the cooperation of the mobile phone operator and a third party service provider Now we will see the security issues with M-commerce. M-commerce is anticipated to introduce new security and privacy risks. Users of mobile device can be difficult to trace because of roaming of the users. The mobile device go online and offline frequently. Thus attacks would be very difficult to trace. Another risk unique to the mobile devices is the risk of loss or theft. A major problem in this regard is lack of authenticate a particular user.